<laughs> well, would you look who's here? Looks like it's going to be a day to remember. Guys, look who the sea washed up! Ahoy there, traveler! <laughs> so Captain really did invite you to join the homecoming celebration. Hey, I heard that you took care of another crisis while you were in Inazuma. Are the rumors true? That's what I heard, too. Thanks to you, Inazuma's vision hunt decree was finally put to an end. Well done, traveler. Captain's got quite the eye for people. She said she was sure that your trip to Inazuma would stir up some waves. And sure enough... <laughs> Look at you, being so modest. We all know what you did to protect Liyue Harbor. I've heard that they tell stories about you and Mondstadt, too. The Honorary Knight. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I'd say someone of your caliber would be right at home in the cracks. Right, sailors? <laughs> That's right. Wow, I'm getting excited just thinking of being the Traveler's crewmate. Hey, what do you say we arm wrestle? <laughs> I was worried you'd be too busy to show up. Oh, Captain on deck! Uh, Captain, we were just trying to talk the Traveler into joining the crew. Yeah, come on, Captain Beto. Surely you've got a way to get the Traveler on board. Oh, he's on board right now for the celebration, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, but just one celebration together is not enough. You know what we mean, Captain. All right, all right, I get it now. There is something special about you, Traveler. You earned everyone's respect, myself included. So it goes without saying that the Crux would be honored to have a crew member such as yourself. No doubt about that. But then again, a hero like yourself doesn't just set off on a journey without some bigger purpose in mind. So should a hero really drop what they're doing just to spend day after day drifting at sea with us? Well, if that were the case, then the Crux, known for always moving forward to the next horizon, would instead be holding someone back. Right. Uh, I guess we didn't think that part through. Remember, rather than seeking out strong members to join us, you should be focusing on making yourselves the strongest that you can be. If we are powerful, they will come to us. Isn't that why everyone here chose to come aboard in the first place? Yes. A strong sailor is always looking for a sturdy ship. I guess I almost forgot the first lesson you ever taught me. Thanks for the reminder, Captain. <laughs> Just be sure you all keep that in mind. Now there's no more need to hound the Traveler, as you were. The Traveler and I have something to discuss. I'm glad you came. Welcome back aboard. Gordon. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> oh, to be honest, I don't care for that kind of reputation. I don't want people to see me like some big shot official from Yujing Terrace. But I'll take it as a compliment. I'm glad you see me as well respected. I can't go getting too caught up in my own reputation, though. That's certainly not how the Crux made it to where we are today. As the head of the fleet, my task is to keep us on the right course, no matter how turbulent the seas may become. But then again, the crew isn't usually this riled up. It's not that they're arrogant, they're just bubbling with ambition, that's all. Their excitement today comes from their great respect for you, both your strength and your character. So please, don't take it the wrong way. All good then, great. Actually, speaking of Inazuma, I think your good luck must have rubbed off on me on the way over. I made an interesting find on the beach shortly after we parted ways. Let's talk about it over there, where it's a little quieter. Is running a bit low. <laughs> so after we dropped you off in Rito, we found a shipwreck nearby. Probably belonged to Inazuman pirates. We searched the wreckage and found a map. At first, I thought it was a nautical chart. I was thinking we might discover a new sailing route if we were lucky. But after a closer look, I realized it wasn't a map of the sea at all. It was a Liyue treasure map, and no ordinary one at that. Uh, 
Um, nothing like that. I just mean that the map was a mess. So it was the most I could do to figure out that the treasure was probably in Lyra. As for its exact location, I have no idea. I'd say I've explored Liwa pretty extensively, but still, this one managed to beat me. So, I thought of you. Nobody can beat you when it comes to treasure hunting on land, right? Is that right? Well then, it looks like I'm in good hands. Here's the map, see what you can make of it. So, where do you think it is? Chingta Village. I don't see the resemblance at all. How'd you come to that conclusion? Oh, okay then. I'm definitely a rookie at this, <laughs> but your word's good enough for me. Time for a trip to Chingtza. You're coming with me, of course. I'll need you to help me zero in on the specific location once we're there. <laughs> well, would you look who's here? Looks like it's going to be a day to remember. Guys, look who the sea washed up! Ahoy there, Traveler! <laughs> So Captain really did invite you to join the homecoming celebration. Hey, I heard that you took care of another crisis while you were in Inazuma. Are the rumors true? That's what I heard, too. Thanks to you, Inazuma's vision hunt decree was finally put to an end. Well done, Traveler. Captain's got quite the eye for people. She said she was sure that your trip to Inazuma would stir up some waves. And sure enough... <laughs> Look at you, being so modest. We all know what you did to protect Liyue Harbor. I've heard that they tell stories about you and Mondstadt, too. The Honorary Knight. Pretty impressive. <laughs> I'd say someone of your caliber would be right at home in the cracks. Right, sailors? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Wow, I'm getting excited just thinking of being the Traveler's crewmate. Hey, what do you say we arm wrestle? <laughs> I was worried you'd be too busy to show up. Oh, Captain on deck! Uh, Captain, we were just trying to talk the Traveler into joining the crew. Yeah, come on, Captain Beto. Surely you've got a way to get the Traveler on board. Oh, he's on board right now for the celebration, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, but just one celebration together is not enough. You know what we mean, Captain. All right, all right, I get it now. There is something special about you, Traveler. You earned everyone's respect, myself included. So it goes without saying that the Crux would be honored to have a crew member such as yourself. No doubt about that. But then again, a hero like yourself doesn't just set off on a journey without some bigger purpose in mind. So should a hero really drop what they're doing just to spend day after day drifting at sea with us? Well, if that were the case, then the Crux, known for always moving forward to the next horizon, would instead be holding someone back. Right. Uh, I guess we didn't think that part through. Remember, rather than seeking out strong members to join us, you should be focusing on making yourselves the strongest that you can be. If we are powerful, they will come to us. Isn't that why everyone here chose to come aboard in the first place? Yes. A strong sailor is always looking for a sturdy ship. I guess I almost forgot the first lesson you ever taught me. Thanks for the reminder, Captain. <laughs> Just be sure you all keep that in mind. Now there's no more need to hound the Traveler, as you were. The Traveler and I have something to discuss. I'm glad you came. Welcome back aboard. Hey, don't mention it. As a host, it would be pretty embarrassing to continue letting my guests be put on the spot like that. I can't go getting too caught up in my own reputation, though. That's certainly not how the Crux made it to where we are today. As the head of the fleet, my task is to keep us on the right course, no matter how turbulent the seas may become. But then again, the crew isn't usually this riled up. 
It's not that they're arrogant, they're just bubbling with ambition, that's all. Their excitement today comes from their great respect for you, both your strength and your character. So please, don't take it the wrong way. Oh, is that so? Well, it just so happens that we're doing some recruitment and training for new crew members while we're back. It'll be a first-rate chance to learn the life of a sailor. Since you're interested, why don't you come along and experience a sailor's life firsthand? I'm curious to see if you'll take the sea by storm in the same way you have on land. <laughs> nice. <laughs> come with me. Let's see how big of a splash you can manage. Chief Mate Juza's breaking in the newcomers, but I think we can spare you the tedium of that. After this, the new crew members will be arranged into two teams for more specialized training, according to their own aptitudes and the needs of the fleet. One team will learn comprehensive survival skills, including maritime emergency rescue, marine meteorology, psychological counseling, and so on. They will serve as the support team for the fleet, ensuring safe navigation. That's why we call them the Shield of the Crux. The Pen of the Crux? <laughs> oh, that's a wild idea. Unfortunately, this ain't the Wan Wen Bookhouse, kid. As one might expect, we call the other team the Spear of the Crux, because they'll be learning about naval warfare. They'll make up the armed portion of our crew. Also, they're responsible for handling the fleet's cargo deals. So, what do you think? Which team is for you? <laughs> you truly are an adventurer at heart. Let's start with the fundamentals for any armed crew member. Basic boat handling. Follow me. So after we dropped you off in Rito, we found a shipwreck nearby. Probably belonged to Inazuman pirates. We searched the wreckage and found a map. At first, I thought it was a nautical chart. I was thinking we might discover a new sailing route if we were lucky. But after a closer look, I realized it wasn't a map of the sea at all. It was a Liu a treasure map, and no ordinary one at that. Um, nothing like that. I just mean that the map was a mess, so it was the most I could do to figure out that the treasure was probably in Lyra. As for its exact location, I have no idea. I'd say I've explored Lyra pretty extensively, but still, this one managed to beat me. So I thought of you. Nobody can beat you when it comes to treasure hunting on land, right? Is that right? <laughs> well then, it looks like I'm in good hands. Here's the map, see what you can make of it. So, where do you think it is? Gwaili Plains. Huh, I never would have gotten that. How can you tell? Oh. Okay then. So you do live up to the hype. <laughs> I can't believe you noticed that. You sure have an eye for detail. Let's head over there and take a look. I'll need you to help me zero in on the specific location once we're there. Chief Mate Juza's breaking in the newcomers, but I think we can spare you the tedium of that. After this, the new crew members will be arranged into two teams for more specialized training, according to their own aptitudes and the needs of the fleet. One team will learn comprehensive survival skills, including maritime emergency rescue, marine meteorology, psychological counseling, and so on. They will serve as the support team for the fleet, ensuring safe navigation. That's why we call them the Shield of the Crux.
The vision of the crux. <laughs> oh, we don't have that many visions, kid. As one might expect, we call the other team the Spear of the Crux, because they'll be learning about naval warfare. They'll make up the armed portion of our crew. Also, they're responsible for handling the fleet's cargo deals. So, what do you think? Which team is for you? <laughs> As I expected, you have a will to protect others. There are two main subjects that the Shield of the Crux focuses on. Survival knowledge and entertainment. As I was saying earlier, survival knowledge includes prevention of injuries and diseases at sea, navigation and cartography, basic meteorology, etc. You can go learn about these skills from Yinxing, Hoixing, and Liu They're all seasoned hands in their respective fields. Each sailor has their own strengths and weaknesses. I'm no rookie, of course, but you shouldn't underestimate the knowledge of the crew. If there's anything I'm most proud of in the fleet, it's my people. Go and get to work. I'll have some questions to test you later. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you do.